Sean, it was a bit warmer today than yesterday, but still very dry out there. So that chance of rain in the future is is welcome. Yeah, it, and it's when we say rain, Alicia, we're not talking like here comes the storm and we're talking a, a half to an inch of rain. We're talking about light sprinkles west of the mountains because of this strong onshore flow. One thing that we have been asking our viewers to do is show us Christmas lights, and this is in Rancho Penasquitos. Uh, if you have your house dolled up, uh, there is definitely some places to uh, send that video, and we'd like to see that here. If you go to the App Store and pick up our app and share that video and or photograph with us, the download of the app is free. Go there, grab it, and then send us the video or the photograph, and then we'll post it here in our weather segment and give you guys a little shout out, show you how you've dolled up your house. I, it, to me, it seems like a lot more people are putting Christmas lights and or decorations. Uh, speaking of lights, Mother Nature will be showing off the Geminid uh, meteor showers over the next couple days through the 17th. And fortunately, skies look to be mostly clear here for a, the evening. And then as we get into the early morning hours, it might start to cut up because a chance of those sprinkles coming through. And then we do dry out as we get into Monday and Tuesday. If you're going to look for these meteor showers, which could be as much as 120 per hour, make sure you get away from the city lights and after midnight will probably be your best bet. Looking at temperatures around the county right now, we're in the upper 50s, low 60s, Oceanside at 60, along with Poway and Del Mar, 62 downtown, 60 in Chula Vista, we're at 54 in Ramona, 58 for you folks in Alpine, and expect the winds to start to pick up overnight and into tomorrow. It's kind of cool in the mountains right now, 46 at Palomar Mountain and 45 in Julian. That's a live shot from our Mount Soledad camp, so a really pretty night out there. Wind has not yet picked up, but definitely we'll start to see that happen. Temperature 62, northwest your winds at 6 miles per hour, and the barometer starting to fall off a little bit as this long wave trough sets up over the west. Combining the uh, king tides, we've got a swell running right now, so there is a possibility of some low-lying flooding in and along the coastal strips in, say, Ocean Beach, South Mission, up around La Jolla Shores and Cardiff Reef area, three to six feet on the uh, westerly facing beaches as a pretty good storm starts to make its way in towards the north of us, heading uh, surf our way. 34 right now in Truckee, they're gonna pick up some snow, the same with Mammoth, so over the next 24 hours, you know, three to five inches of snow starting to build up in the Sierra Nevada. So tomorrow morning, there's that trough digging in over the Great Basin. The winds will be very strong on shore, and you can see we've got a chance of some light rain coming into San Diego. Sprinkles making their way through the area, and very quickly scooting on out. Then high pressure settles in, and with that, we see some very strong winds start to come into Southern California. We'll talk about those in the second half hour of the show, but taking a look at the temperatures, tomorrow the coolest day of the work week, and then we start to warm back up. By the time we get into the weekend, right where we should be. As far as precipitation, I, I'm thinking less than a tenth of an inch, if that, Maybe in the most westerly facing locations in the mountains, we stay chilly overnight and there could be a snowflake or two flying in our local mountains. Alicia. All right. Good stuff, Sean. Thank you.